Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Coach Adrian, your favorite coach, here to provide you with more tips, more tools and guidance to help you find happiness and love, to help you overcome a tremendously difficult breakup. And very often uh, people reach out to us and they're in extremely, extremely complex situations. Fortunately, we are able to help them turn things around and then we get amazing testimonials and success stories that we sometimes share, sometimes not, because we like to keep things private out of respect for our clients. But other times, it's not possible and people need to move on. And the question then becomes how to move on when you're still in love. Very often people reach out to me asking me how to move on because they feel like uh, someone that they love is not good for them or uh, simply because they no longer want to pursue the breakup recovery process. So how to move on when you're still in love? First and foremost, you have to understand that it's going to be painful. It's going to be difficult. And if you're coming here looking for an easy out, a uh, one, two, three step process so that a seamless transition and you're not going to suffer, that's not me. That's not what we do. Uh, we keep it real. And I'm going to keep it real with you and tell you that breakups are difficult. Uh, walking away from someone that you love is difficult and it takes work. It takes a commitment. And trying to uh, alleviate the pain may be running away from important lessons that you need to learn, uh, important va uh, virtues that you need to work on in order to become a better person um, and to then be that you that you need to be to be happy in love. So although it sucks and although it might be difficult to hear, I sincerely believe in my heart that this pain that you are going through at the moment is serving a purpose. And once you understand and accept this, everything changes because you're on a mission and you recognize that just like when you go out to run, training for a marathon, you realize that the pain of getting into shape is actually serving a purpose and is actually good pain, then everything changes because you have a purpose and because you see the bigger picture. You're not just focused on the moment that you're in right now, you see the full story. You see where you are actually going and everything changes. Very important to understand what is happening to you and why. No matter what, when there's love, there's pain. Even for healthy, successful relationships, there's ups and downs. And because it's only through pain that we can sharpen our character and our virtues and learn and grow. If there was no pain, if there was no suffering, well, we would be stagnant. We wouldn't become better people. We would become complacent and we would not have this capacity to reinvent ourselves. Okay. So in a way, this is an opportunity for you. And once you accept that, everything changes and you are already starting to move on in a less painful way, in a more structured way. And you're becoming the main actor of your emotional love life if of your life in general. When I help people move on, I help them set goals, long-term goals, medium-term goals, short-term goals. Give them a structure and something to really fight for, look forward to. That is essential because you need a reason to wake up every morning. You need to be living with purpose to help you face in the positive direction, moving forward rather than constantly looking back and reminiscing and thinking, what if, what if, what if. So understanding that this pain is constructive, that it can serve a purpose, and that it can be used as an opportunity, as a catalyst for growth, is essential. Setting yourself goals, making sure that you're living with purpose, that you have a reason to wake up in the morning, is also essential. And once you realize those things, you will be well on your way to moving on and to position yourself um, in a way where you can meet someone that can actually make you happy. And um, you'll become a better person and a better partner because of it. If you need help to move on, please reach out to me. 
please reach out to me. For me, a success story isn't just when two people get back together. A success story is also when people are able to find themselves, to be happy again, to live with purpose, and to sometimes date something that uh, date someone that uh, didn't, they didn't know existed when they first reached out to me because it suits them better and because it's choices that you ultimately will make and will love. If you'd like to work together, please reach out to me. It would be my pleasure to help you. Uh, myself or coach Natalie, she's also awesome and she, will also, she can also accompany you on this journey of moving on. And um, no matter what, keep fighting the good fight, believe in yourself, leave me your thoughts, comments, questions, like my video to fuel my fire, and uh, let us know how things are evolving for you in the comment section of this video. Take good care, wish you all the very best, and hopefully see you soon.